What's up guys, it's Creations here, bringing you an unboxing of what has been my most anticipated game of the year. It was finally released today. It is the Assassin's Creed 3 Freedom Edition. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan, so as soon as AC3 was announced, I, uh, I would jump straight online to uh, try and find the Freedom Edition. Well, once the Freedom Edition was obviously announced... I jumped straight online to pre-order it, and I wasn't disappointed because it is sweet. Uh, so let's take a look at this then. So obviously on the outside of the box we have a slip cover, which on the back of it shows you the contents of the Freedom Edition, which I won't spend too long looking at that because I'm about to show you the actual physical objects, so there's no point. But onto the actual box itself, you can see it's a very nice looking detailed box. Uh, you got the assassin symbol there in the middle with obviously freedom edition at the bottom. You got some stars on the sides and you have this which I know there's some glare because there's a big window behind me but uh, you got animus unum? unum? I don't know. But you got that on top with the, with the eagle. What's on the bottom actually? Nothing. Okay so open it up you slip the top half off like that. Let's just put that on the floor. And inside, obviously, this is the main part, so we'll leave that till last. But uh, the other things you get in the game, or the Freedom Edition, is a steel box case, which of course, all the collector's editions these days are coming with these. And rightly so, because they look amazing. Every single one, doesn't matter what the game is, they these always look so good. There you go. Very nice. So the next thing we have this little envelope with two art cards on it. I got one there of Connor hanging off the side of a I don't know, some sort of building anyway. Overlooking a camp. And then you just got one of some sort of city. <laughs> Again, I don't know what that is. What city that is. But yeah. So you get those two, which are pretty nice. The next thing is... Let's just put those back in there. So the next thing is George Washington's Journal. Which inside you get this little bookmark thing. Which is, you know, a journal with concept art, well, yeah, concept art and different stuff to do with the game. I don't know if there's actually to do with the story or whether this is just some random, you know, information from George Washington's uh, journal. I have no idea. So I haven't read it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. It's obviously, as you can probably tell by the pages, if I get closer, you can see they're all faded and sort of, sort of an off-tone white colour. It's pretty nice. So uh, yeah, is that? Then obviously we have the game, which I didn't know, but it actually comes on the 360 version at least. It comes on two discs, and they did say the. This game was going to be the biggest game environment of all the Assassin's Creed's. So, <laughs> apparently it is, <laughs> being on two discs. So, uh, the other things you obviously get in the game box. I have Red Coat Multiplayer Pack, which is a uh, pre-order bonus from GameStop. I don't know if it's from every place, but I pre-ordered it on the GameStop website, so I got that. Uh, yeah, obviously you have your online pass and the Freedom Edition exclusives are two multiplayer missions, not multiplayer missions, single player missions, uh, spanning 20 minutes each, as you can see there, and also you get two weapons, a cutlass. And a war club. 
and also you get multi another multiplayer pack with another character, some emblems or a emblem, a picture and a title. Uh, yeah. And finally is obviously the uh, instruction manual which is not much of one. It, look at it. It's four pages. The instructions, the warranty, technical support and notes. That's it. So, yeah, <laughs> a bit useless that manual, but no one reads them anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. But now, finally, on to the main thing. The reason most people, including me, got the Freedom Edition, it's the Connor statue. So let's get this thing out. As you can see, this is quite a big statue. And let me just set this up. As you can see, it's in. Oh, there we go. It's in three parts: the statue itself, the flagpole, and the flag. Speaking of the flag, uh, there's actually another edition which I presume is just a, a U.S. exclusive. Uh, but you, with the U.S. version, you actually get the um, a giant like. 28 inch by 40 inch, I think it was, uh, flag, which I thought came with this edition of the game, but apparently not. But anyway, let's get this flag into the statue. There we go. And there we go. There is the Connor statue. Let me just get the game so we can do a size comparison. As you can see, it's just a little bit bigger than the uh, than the game box by a couple of inches, or probably about like four inches if you include the flagpole. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice, highly detailed uh, statue. Let's get a close up so you can see some detail. Oh, there's Connor's face with a scar on his right cheek, and yeah. It's very nice. This pistol actually comes out of the uh, holster. It's a bit tight, but it does come out. <laughs> As you can see there, we've got some blood on the rock, which is pretty nice. Nice detail there. And, uh, yeah. It's very nice. I like it. It can go with my Altair. No, not Altair. Ezio. Statue from uh, Assassin's Creed 2 Collector's Edition. And uh, yeah, so that is the Assassin's Creed 3 Freedom Edition. Very nice edition. Again, <laughs> this was the main reason why I got the Freedom Edition, because of this kind of statue. But if you. Oh, let me just take that out just so it doesn't break. I actually looked in here in the uh, game box. Was it the game box? Uh, give me a sec. Oh, here we go. On the back of the uh, Freedom Edition content, if you don't actually have the uh, Freedom Edition, or you, it's not available in your country or something, you can actually buy, as you can see there, a different Connor statue, where he's perched in a tree. Uh, and you can get that from the Ubishop website. Doesn't actually say how much it is on here. No, it doesn't actually say how much it is, but if you can't get the Freedom Edition with this pose of Connor, uh, you can obviously get this one instead. So yeah, that has been the Freedom Edition of Assassin's Creed 3. I'm going to pop this in and start playing, and uh, I'll bring you a gameplay video, giving you my impressions of what I think so far, uh, probably tomorrow morning. or sometime tomorrow anyway so yeah hope you enjoyed the video like I said I'm gonna go put this in right now and I'll see you guys next time